Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School and I'm here with the third story from Frog and Toad Together called Cookies. This is a book by Arnold Lobel. And we've read the first two stories, um, A List and The Garden, I think were the first two. So let's take a look at the third story, Cookies. Cookies. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one. And they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. Man, Toad made some good cookies, huh? I didn't know Toad could make cookies. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. <laughs> Second time. Are they really gonna stop? We must stop eating, cried Toad, as he ate another. <laughs> yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all of these cookies? asked Toad. Right, said Frog. Do you think that's gonna work? Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog, tri Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Toad makes a good point. They can just open it. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up on a high shelf. There, said Frog. Now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. What are they going to do now? Eat more? <laughs> Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey, birds! Here are cookies! Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I am going home now to bake a cake. <laughs> so in the end, the birds ate all the cookies, but Toad is still going home to bake more, <laughs> more foods. <laughs> it's a nice story, isn't it? The next story is called Dragons and Giants. And that was the third story, Cookies, from Frog and Toad Together by Arnold Lobel. And I wanna show you a little bit around here so let me see if I can move the camera here and show you around. So this is where we are. This is the Hanami River in, I think it's Chiba City. Let me get up here. And I was sitting here on this little dock. Check this out. Here, I'll show you a little bit more. This is what it looks like. Isn't that great? And I came from up there along that trail. And this river is quite nice, especially in the summertime. But it's okay in the winter too, it's even pretty now. Here, I'll show you one more time. That's where I was sitting right there. And I chose this spot because it looks like a spot for frogs. What about toads? Do toads live in this kind of area? But yeah, down there is Tokyo Bay. And I'm heading down there now. And yeah, what do you think, any frogs here? Probably not during the winter but I bet in the summer, real pretty area. 
So anyway, there we go. And thanks for watching me read the third story. See you again.